Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our VTech programming. We're going to be working with inner AEM Pro software. So when we turn our VTech on on a Honda application, we're going to be switching from the low cam operation into the high cam operation. And we're going to find that we have to program it based on engine RPM, load, and throttle position. So the programming details are pretty straightforward. Now when we turn on the high cam, we're going to be moving a lot more air. So we need to add additional fuel and we need to deal with our spark timing. Typically we can add a little bit more spark timing when we move into the high cam. So there are several options for programming and tuning when we engage our VTEC. I'm gonna be showing you a couple different options and the best option I have found over the years when I'm working with my series one application. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our VTEC programming in our AEM Pro software. So the first thing we're gonna do in order to access the VTEC programming window, jump up here to setup, go in here to VTEC, then go into options. We can see here our VTEC window is going to be open, and now we can start to program our output for our VTEC control. So the first thing we'll take a look at here is engine RPM. We can see VTEC on above this particular engine RPM, and then VTEC off below this particular engine RPM. Now the way this is programmed, we have a 500 RPM hysteresis or a window where when VTEC turns on at 5000 it'll stay on as we get into the high RPM but as we're coming below 5000 the VTEC will still stay on until we've reached 4500 that's going to provide a hysteresis so VTEC doesn't turn on and off rapidly if we had these set at 5000 and something like 5000 as well for the off point it'll go in and could potentially turn on and off very quickly if we're reaching that RPM threshold and we're not exceeding it so say we're at 5000 and our RPM goes to 5,020, then it drops to 4,980. We'll find that we're in a plus or minus 25 RPM window, and it might oscillate, it might create some drivability problems. So we wanna have a little bit of buffer. Normally, if I'm programming my VTEC to turn on at, let's say, 5,000 RPM, and my off point, I'll set this about 200 RPMs below. So instead of 4,500, I'll set it to 4,800, just so I have a little bit of a window. I like to tighten up this hysteresis so the window control here just so it shuts off near the point that I'm programming it. Next, looking down our list, we find VTEC on above load, VTEC off below load. This works extremely well if you're gonna be programming this for a force induction engine. So we probably don't want our VTEC to come on if we're at a boost. So on a turbo engine, I'm gonna say VTEC on above load. Um, I'm gonna be setting this to at least zero or two PSI. And then going back here, let's enter, hit two and then enter. Our VTEC off below load here, this is gonna be when we want it to switch off. So in the example of a force induction engine, I'm gonna be going here and setting it to something like zero PSI. And again, I have this window where if it turns on and I drop below two PSI and I'm between two, and two PSI and zero PSI, it's still gonna be active, but as soon as I drop below zero, it's going to turn off. So it has to meet both of these conditions that we've programmed here. It has to have 